I don't know how many people are going to show up, so we're just having a we're just having a party, you know. Hold on. Well, I got to turn that right for the ad. Hold on. And oh my God, make sure. I can't decide what's going to be. You know, how, do I wear this? Ah, come on. That's one of my favorites. Oh, I have the music one. I like this one. That's world class right there. I like that. And, I mean, we're in Texas, right? So I got to go break out the stats. And... Come on. Howdy. <laughs> so I'll decide which one. I'm not sure which one. Oh, I like this one, though. Ready for the show. We'll figure it out. I was out rustling. A little dusty. Hi, Chris. How you doing? It's good to see you. Doing good. How about you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I am so good. I am so, so good. So what happens now? I, am I able? I, right now, I can only see one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Wait a minute. I got to click on the little arrow here. Does that mean there's more faces off to the right? If you click on the top where it says gallery view, you can see most people. Gotcha. Colin. Oh, I thought Colin Kaepernick was here, but it's Kip and Brock. Wow. <laughs> well, Colin, welcome. How are you? How's the living? Hey, Colin Kaepernick, how are you? Wait, that's not Colin. Yeah, we're good, Dick. <laughs> we have to also, I, I should have brought a prize for the person who traveled the far farthest. We're in Florida. We have Florida. We're supposed to have uh, South Korea, too. I, mean, I don't think you're going to beat South Korea. Good luck. Good luck. But I just wanted to check in. How many people? This is the gallery where you see most people. So I just wanted to check in anyway and have some fun and see how everybody's holding up during the lockdown. Um, I spent the day, well, doing absolutely nothing. I'm working hard. Whew, man, I was working hard today. But I think some people, I, I hear people all the time saying that they can't, uh, they have to clean their closets and they have to clean cupboards and they have to, why? We're in a lockdown. Stay home and do nothing. That's why you, that's why you have Wi-Fi and television. Don't do it. It's crazy. Look at the stuff that's supposed to get done and say, hey, we'll get through it. We'll get through it and move on. How come I can't? Want oh, by the way, I'm going to pin a video. Everybody wants to see. Uh, we pay. If you listen to today's podcast, we paid a hundred bucks and we have an animal invitation here. We do? We do. Nice. So everybody can see animals. So we did pay some money. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we did pay some money. That's kind of, that's tough, man. Zoom is charging big money for that. I know. Big money. So we have uh, the farm animals. If you listen to today's podcast, you can see them now. Now, the, the, the face up close, that's the chupacabra, right? Yes, that is the chupacabra. Yes. That is the chupacabra. <laughs> those are the South American rats. Yes, yes. Those are, are you still raising those? No. Oh, hold on. Let me oh, no. picture another one. Uh, okay. Bye. Now we got the goat. Nice. We got the goat. What about now? I, I don't. I don't know how much money you spent. You know, just put it on the chewing the fat account. Uh, I don't know how much money you spent, but did we get a, a kangaroo? 
We did get a kangaroo. Stand by. That that nice. cost, that cost us like two thousand dollars. Ooh. So Dude, that might have gone a little over budget. Yeah, yeah. So let me see. Um, as you can see, the uh, the person is traveling, so I'm gonna cancel that camera. Put the chupacabra back on camera. <laughs> and um, once I see the uh, the kangaroo, we'll be all set. Yeah, let's have the kangaroo. Let's go. By the way, we have 31 people watching this right now. Wow. All right, who, who traveled the farthest? Who's, who's from uh, out of the country? Raise your hand or speak. No one's from out of the country. What happened to our out of the country people? Are they completely, did the Wi-Fi get shut down? Are the countries closing it down? Ooh, hold on, I got a note. For all of you watching at home, here's a $2,000 kangaroo. So, you're welcome. Nice. You're welcome. Let's see those front paws, man. Let's get up. Those front paws are big. You do not want to get cold cocked with those things, man. Oh, so sad. Yeah, come on. Don't go anywhere. Where are you going, baby? Nice. Do you know the uh, kangaroo's name? Other than Roo? Roo and Kanga. <laughs> now, are we raising these kangaroos, do we know, for just for Zoom appearances? Or are they going to be eaten? No, these are for Zoom appearances only. Uh, Zoom appearances only? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Great. These are Zoom appearances only. Nice. Your mother. Your mother has it. Wow. I know they not know I'm working here on the Zoom. We're having the happy hour. I think they can just come in. What's going on? All right. So now the people that are here that have joined us for the for the virtual happy hour. Uh, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate it. Second, if they speak, what happens? Do they just come on live? Yes. Or do we or do we have them muted from you or do you have them muted from your end as being the boss? So I muted everybody as they were coming in. If they yeah, want take to that. speak <laughs> if they want to speak, they can unmute themselves and then mute themselves back. Oh, we have to trust people for that. Okay. But at the All end, right, so. if they don't if they don't mute themselves, I can always, you know, shut it down and mute them. So So you got the bull by the horns. Yes, yes. So or the kangaroo by the sack or the goat by the home. We'll do the last. Uh, we'll do the last bit of the animal so that my the people you know they're charging by the minute. So, wow, that's a good some, gig. I know we got some ducks. We have to invest in the animals, man. We got some ducks and hold on, we got some. Oh, walking, nice. We got some walking chupacabras, like Jeffy likes to call them. <laughs> So, Look at those big old rats, man. Those things. Wow. You do not want those wandering the streets, but they will be soon. Life after people are taking over. This is our own chewing the fat Zoom Zoo. I love it. I think, you know, it's only fair to say, hey, this is a CTF Zoo. So, Yes. And coming sooner, Zoo Wars. You know, I was looking at uh, the... <laughs> Sadly, I was looking at zoo stories and uh, looking at what zoos create. You know, like the Fort Worth Zoo currently has 540 species, 72 mammals, 148 birds. The birds are gone, right? You're not saving the birds. Maybe the big ones, maybe the big ones are saved, but the little ones you're feeding. What about the, this bird? I'm going to show you. This is a $4,000 bird. How about this one? Oh, I'm, I was I was under the impression that those are mean. Is that true? Uh no. You have They're to check mean. with the Zoom Zoo Keeper to find the out. Because I, I don't think. Here, let me let me unmute the Zoom Keeper. Hey Travis, are there mean animals? No, not at all. Yeah, I don't. I mean, know they about might that. might peck you. Yeah, that's what. Oh, that doesn't count as mean if that big old beak pecks you in the face. Yeah, you just got to keep your eyes closed. Right. So are these, are, 
Do we know if these are good eating? Oh, definitely. <laughs> what animal, other than, you know, like a, would a, a tiger or a, a lion take one of these down to eat? Sure. Yeah, it takes a, uh, it takes a large cat. Yeah. What about those things? Those things would go down easy for, I mean, that's like a snack. They're talking about the, uh, the capybaras. Yeah, the chupacabras. Capybara, yeah, of course, the... Um, the All right, get uh, your head out of there. The, yeah, the snakes get them, the, um, the crocodiles get them, and the jaguars get them. <laughs> I don't think right. we pay for the, for the zoo porn. I don't no, think we, we, we that. no, we got that free. We're offering oh, that free. Okay, okay, We're okay, offering okay. that free. Hello, pizza. Here, let's go to the other zookeeper. Um, she's the one with the capybaras. Hello? Oh, yeah, let's hear him. Let's hear uh, Because if this is Chupacabra, you know, how you doing, you good-looking thing, you? Let's hear him get excited. Oh, no. They're not, he's, he's done now. He's had enough. All right, so... I see as I'm looking at some of our uh, at some of our party joiners, uh, Don. How many animals do you have? Like, you have to unmute yourself. So oh, go ahead wow. and talk to us. Oh, no, she can there you go. She's good. She's good. I'll, I'll mute her. She's good. Okay. So Don, yes. uh, it, it says your last name up here on the screen. If they, I don't know that they're actually you your real yes, names. It's not me. I just want to let you know. <laughs> So, how many animals do you have? I see you have a little horse in the house. Um, in, like at at our at our house, how many do we have? Sure, that's the question. That's oh. just waiting for the I answer. No, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> really? No clue. You just allow animals any just to show up, and they're part of the house. Oh, in the house? Oh, Actually, inside divorce. the house. Inside the house, we just have a dog. But you have a bunch of animals. You have the Don Fleming Zoo? Uh, sure. Oh, I'll see. Here, let me ask some help. Hey, Travis, uh, about a, how much do you think we have animals in there? We probably have about 70 animals living here on our 10 acres. And when Chris says we. That was not me speaking just now. I have two great things. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. Thank you. Those are some big old dogs. Yeah, they're I don't I have four horses and two great danes. Full size horses? Full size. Or like little, little No full size, ponies. but they're like uh four acres away and I don't like you that much, so I'm not going. <laughs> really? Wow, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, well I do I don't know. It's you don't have to go all the way out to the horses. I'm just messing with you, but you can you know, show it to us. snow on the ground out here, so I would have to, like, put snow boots on, but there are the Great Danes out there. So are they rescue Danes, or are they? did you get them as little puppies? Yeah, they're rescue from their very high-quality breeder. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. So uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you breed the horses, too? No, no, no. I don't breed anything. Because I was just reading a story about horse breeding, and there's a lot of money involved in that. I have no idea about horse breeding. I maybe you ought to look into it. There's somebody that takes care of the horses. <laughs> oh, whoa! I like, okay. I take care of the Great Danes. There's a yeah. No, no, no. I'm you know, sorry. Can you? Can we talk to the help? Um, can, can you let us talk to the help and see how you know how they take care of things for you? Also or? four acres away. <laughs> All I hear is bougie, 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 bougie. Oh, I'm answering I, questions that are being asked to me. I am not offering any information. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Don. I appreciate it. You listen, uh, if we ask you again, have somebody have one of the help standing by to answer, and uh, we'll be good. So has anyone showed up from another country? I have to go to gallery view now to see who's all joined us. Thanks, Don. I appreciate it. Take care of those dogs. Um, and your snow, so you're, uh, you're living, I mean, that didn't look like a whole bunch of snow, but you're how far up north? 
Uh, oh, we're, from we're Southern not. California, Southern California. But I'm in the, ma- the I'm, not ma- I'm in the mountain. I'm Southern in the California. California. Yes. Seriously? No, you are not. Stop it. Lake Arrowhead, California. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's way up north. Uh, wow. <laughs> no, no, it's we're, not. We're um, like Orange County is okay. 45 minutes from here. So that is, um, how? F- where's Big Bear Lake from that? Big Bear Lake is 20 minutes from me. Okay. Yeah, I've been up there. I mean, it's beautiful up there. I, I love that country so much. And if it wasn't California, I could actually consider maybe living there. Oh. But no way. How's it going? Are, are, how, how are you holding up in California? You know, we need some people here, like, trying to get the Republican vote going. So you're welcome. <laughs> I'm no trying. kidding. Thank you. <laughs> no kidding. So thank you all for uh, showing up to the uh, CTF uh, virtual happy hour. I appreciate way, it. I want to saw... interrupt you, Jeffy, because Ambassador yeah. Brock is here. So nice. I'm going to unmute him uh, and go to find me. Let me find Dennis. Uh, I mean, Ambassador Brock. Hold on. Ambassador Brock, yeah. how are you, sir? Yes, I'm good, guys. How are you guys doing? Oh, nice. Ambassador, welcome. Awesome. It's, it's, so it's how early in the morning. Things, well, you know, whatever. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, how are things in the uh, the great land of uh, Iswazi land? Things are good. Yeah, things are doing pretty good, guys. Yeah. Yeah. How is what kind of uh, what kind of situation do you have there? that differs from any place else or do you as far as the uh, uh, yeah, uh, COVID-19? We only have, the government says as of now, only 16 cases. We've had one fatality. Um, so we don't know if it's true, if they're telling the truth, but so far, I mean, we're a small country and they pretty much locked down the border so no one can get in from outside. But uh, yeah, uh, because there's only a small number of people that have the infection, people kind of aren't taking it seriously though. So people are not moving around with masks. They're kind of still congregating. There's still parties going on. I just came from oh. a friend's house earlier and there was like 30 people at a party. So, <laughs> so I mean, you're participating cool. in this as well. Well, I just stopped by. I had to right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have reason to believe that your government would lie to you? Uh, yeah, for sure. I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if they're really? monitoring, but yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, too late. Have they lied before about things? And do you have examples? Uh, oh yeah, there's. We don't have like a freedom of press here. There's a lot of things like with the because we have a Swaziland is like the last one of the last countries with a total monarchy where there's a king, and it's run by like a royal family and everything. And you cannot say anything bad about the government structure if you do. People have disappeared, never to be seen from again. And yeah, so you have to be very careful what you say. And people ask me all the time as an American, like, what do you think? Should we have democracy? I say, hey, man, I'm not here to, (laughs) I don't even know who you are. Because there's like spies and stuff that want to get you in trouble. So (laughs) I'm just here doing what I'm doing. I don't want to be sent home. So No, I can understand, Ambassador. And listen, I understand that you're an ambassador for CTF and we haven't given you any sovereign land to be on. So we love Swaziland and we love the monarchy and they're beautiful people. And I want you to be safe. So you said nothing bad about them at all. I understand. I won't. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, showing up. Do we have any? What did South Korea show up yet? I got an email from in South uh, Korea. Do you remember the name? Yeah, Bill. Bill is the name. No, I don't remember the Bill name. Is I mean, your I name go... So I guess. Oh, we got a Grand Dane on the screen. I can I can go back and check and see if I remember. You know who the? There you go, Fisher. There's your Great Dane right there. Oh, there you go. Nice. Ooh, man, those are some. And those are horses themselves. Those are good-looking dogs, though. They are good-looking dogs, yes. And they live way up north in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> so great. There's snow on the ground. It's got to be up north. Yeah, it's California. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. i got to find South Korea. Hold on. South Korea. 
South Korea. Chris, just show us animals that we paid for it. Show us animals. Let's have it. There we go. We got some baby. Oh, goats. we got some baby goats. So cute. <laughs> and then we got some uh, deers that we pay for. These are just you know five hundred dollar deers. So. Ah, uh, no problem. They're not as exciting as the you know five thousand kangaroo. No problem. Piece of cake. I can't find. Oh, maybe this is it. Hold on. Yes, it is. Uh, Ruthie. So Ruth, Ruth or Ruthie? <laughs> Not here yet. Not here yet. Oh no! Hold on, I have to send something uh, to someone. Um, so, where? Before I do that, before I do what you want me to do, relax, okay? Hey, don't you, you know, kids know that you're working? Like, what is going I, on? Ah, they're homeschooled. They don't know. They don't know what they're doing. Ridiculous. I have to send, uh, for some reason, my daughter wants to join in on the virtual party. So I'm going to send her the link. And I have to do that now. There's also a chat room, guys. So tell us what you're drinking. Jeffy's drinking her Coke Zero. I'm drinking my Dr. Pepper. That is blending with the background. Well, can't we? I mean, can't they? Well, okay, use the, use the chat room. That's fine. It's hoping for maybe, you know, more than a chat room. Ooh, Jeremy in Memphis. What are you showing me now? I am in love with, is that your backyard? Are you like a, are you like a junk salesman? I mean, an antique dealer? Jeremy in Memphis? Come on now. Did he just go away and leave me with this picture? This is his green screen background. I got to click on Jeremy. If I click on someone, does no, it doesn't. Jeremy in Memphis. Okay, there he is. I'm looking okay. for him. I'm looking there for him. He, Jeremy in Memphis. Welcome. Yeah, unmute yourself. Yeah, unmute yourself. Yeah. There we go. Unmuted. How are you? Okay, all? great. Hey, welcome. Thanks for being part of the thanks for being part of the virtual happy hour. So are you in Memphis proper? Memphis proper, about twenty minutes from your uh, favorite home. Yes, I was just gonna ask how far you are. That's fantastic. So are you uh, and for those of you that wonder what's my favorite home? Uh, hello, Graceland. Um, are are you an antique dealer or is this just uh, uh, your home collection behind you or is that the green screen? My daughter calls that the uh, crap fence. So the fence was kind of falling apart, and then you find all kinds of cool things, and people just love it. I, I'm fascinated. Can, what, what are you, what's some of your favorite items on there? Like I see the fallout shelter sign. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Uh, the standard motor oil sign, I think it's kind of in the shot over there. It's, um, that was actually dug up from a, uh, nice. a random field right next to the Liberty Bowl, which is our only stadium we have here. Yeah. So there's some pretty cool little finds. And then uh, the famous Liberty Land where Elvis played and rode on the Zippin' Pippin' and scored there. <laughs> oh, lightning That's stuff. Fantastic. So it's, it's it's definitely fun. So do you uh, – do the pickers ever stop by and uh, buy stuff from you? Or are you going to be part of their show? Or My fence isn't tall enough, so if they do find it, they're going to come grab it all. Oh, no. No, they, <laughs> they, they, they can't do that. That, that. I will not allow that to happen you have to be part of the show and sell some of the signs because the, the, i like the seven tracks the railroad signs i mean hello life in the train age that's good stuff that's a cool score i just got that uh two weeks ago that's fantastic so it, are you do you go out and pick yourself uh no i just keep an eye out open for it and then friends have caught on to it so that seven track sign came from a 80 year old guy that just walks his dog by his house, my house every day and he was just like i think you need this I was like <laughs> i don't know where it came from it. it's mine now this is the junkyard of the neighborhood. Here's the sign I found. That's great. And the favorite sign is the one I made myself. It's the Kaikima sign. Kaikima Trail up there, somewhere near that bike. There you go. So I know your son's a fantastic Eagle Scout, so am I. He's yeah. The one who's uh, messaged a few times about, we got to get him on my team at, at some point. <laughs> yeah, well, he's uh, they're already struggling because it's probably not going to be a summer camp that he – uh, it works out, and they're really, you know, my wife was supposed to, a uh, little inside scouting talk, my wife was uh, supposed to uh, run the summer camp 
at uh, Sid Richardson here in Texas this year. And, uh, I mean, she still technically is, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. That's what we're bracing for. Um, I run Kaikima, and we're just waiting on the governor's orders. As long as he lets us operate, we'll do our best. We know it's going to be tough and light, but um, we're also trying to figure out other ways to make sure these kids don't fall behind in their scouting program. Right. Right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Jeremy. That's great. And, uh, you know, maybe you go by and deep pocket something from Graceland and hang it on the fence. I mean, a little level. Yeah, for something. Gonna, they have GPS trackers and all that stuff. Ah, they're not going to stop you. Don't worry about it. Just, <laughs> I say deep pocket. You walk in, you take the tour, you, you just hang it on a fence. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's just that simple. And you have to do that for us. And then, of course, send us a picture and let us know that you've actually yeah. stole it. You have to send us a picture. <laughs> you must, yes. Okay, so um, Dawn is showing us that she's holding up. Her, if you have something special in where you're at, where you're sitting now, and I want to thank you for showing up, uh, just hold it up to the camera and we'll get to you. So I know that Dawn is showing me what? Uh, A1C Fleming. What, is, what does that mean? Unmute yourself and tell me what that means, why you're so proud of your little cup. That means Airman First Class Fleming. Oh, God. I have, uh, am I unmuted? Yes. Uh, Chris Cruz, you son of a bitch. You, <laughs> I have been pulled over on military bases as an intelligence analyst, really doing things for the United <laughs> States Air Force. <laughs> By some son of a bitch, I was going 30 miles an hour in 25 miles an hour uh, situations. Right. Why are you speeding, Dawn? And don't be calling me that. You're the one speeding, not me. You know what I was speeding to? Saving the f uh Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I was speeding to actually helping America. I don't know what you were following me for, though. Wow. Because you were speeding. You were speeding. How dare you? How dare you? Right? I mean, everybody thinks they're just, uh, you know, top of the world gatekeepers. I'll send it to yeah. you. Thank you for saving me from getting to go do my mission. You're so welcome. You are so <laughs> welcome. Don't worry. My first sergeant probably gave you a one-two. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, other than being pulled over by guard gatekeepers. I also, Jeffy, you don't know what A1C means? Come on. Well, I, I mean, I do now, but you know, I, I'd be I, proud to have it too if I had Intelligence a, analyst. Oh. So you, uh, how much, uh, I'll give me some inside stuff that you're not supposed to say. Uh, tell me it's something that, we're, that, we, I'm that you know that we you don't. I can't tell you if I could, or I'll have to kill you. I'm not yeah, sure. yeah. Tell us something that you can't tell us or you'll have to kill us because you can't kill us. It's a virtual meeting. Go ahead. Uh, my last mission was in Haiti. That's how long I've been out. <laughs> so wow. I don't think you'd be probably interested in too much stuff. Except I love Haiti. The Clintons. You stay away from the Clintons. Right. Right, and remember Haiti, I mean, they stole a bunch of money after the earthquake and everything. They were supposed to rebuild, and it's still no rubble down there. <laughs> yeah, the Haitians, they sold it. In fact, I had a plan to save Haiti. Or Haiti. I remember <laughs> I remember when that first happened, and they had the earthquake, and we were, they were raising money, and they raised all kinds of money. And in fact, I was living in Florida at the time. They, every grocery store had a little cup we were supposed to put money in to save Haiti. And all this money went to them, and they got nothing. I mean, it was almost like cruises, people in Puerto Rico. They had the big storm, and then the government just took the money. And so I thought what, what they should do is an NFL team and a gambling casino should open up in Haiti, and it would rebuild the country. We could have an NFL team in Haiti. We could have some gambling casinos in Haiti. Would have helped the country out dramatically. Again, you're welcome. Just a thought. Just a thought to save a country. You know, but what do I know? What do I know? Also, Fisher, a lot of people are asking about uh, if the Air Force was in Grenada. <laughs> well, you know, just to be clear, since this will be, uh, you know, part of uh, part of a YouTube thing, I really, uh, I really wasn't in Grenada. I know, I know. I hate to break it to you, but uh, 
Now something has happened to my screen. And I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know who's messing with. Somebody's messing with my screen. Putting up some kind of weird face animal FaceTime on my screen. Is that you, Chris Cruz? That was not me. I had to go find it and, and stop it. So Okay. Uh, my bad. You. Somebody is messing with my screen. It's okay. Um, so uh, so I really wasn't in Grenada, so, and, I, and I loved to joke around. For years, I joked around about that because it was funny. To me, it was funny because nobody knew anyone that was ever in Grenada. So you'd say, yeah, you know, when I was in Grenada, they go, oh, yeah, you were in Grenada. That's great because nobody knew anyone that was in Grenada. And then there were a couple people that were actually in Grenada, <laughs> and they want to talk about it. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I wasn't there. It was it was just a joke. And some people, see, the people who weren't there really kind of get more upset than the people that were there. The people, oh, that's okay. You can joke around about it. But the people that weren't there, kind of like the Indians on the Land of Lake people. Uh, the Indian, they, people who aren't Indians got upset at Land of Lakes. So they bowed down. They bowed to the mob and took the Indian girl off the Land of Lakes containers. Amazing. Oh, look at the little Billy goat eating his, killing the trees. And thank you, Curtis. You're absolutely right. I don't like to talk about it. I'm letting you in on a little inside secret, and I don't necessarily like to talk about it. And that makes it, uh, you know, even funnier to me, actually. So whatever you're going to do. All right, so has South Korea showed up? Do we have Ruthie yet? Has anyone, we have, we have our ambassador from Swaziland. I wonder if we have our ambassador from Europe. Hold on, where's the Iceland guy? Let me find the name of the Iceland. Or it was Iceland or Swiss, Switzerland, man. Hold on, let me Switzerland. Find yeah, we, our Switzerland man supposed to show. And we also have, and we had our girl that we, we were going to give an ambassadorship to from South Korea. But if she doesn't show up, I mean, you don't show up, you don't get the ambassadorship. It's just the way it goes. The rest of you are serious influencers to CTF, and thank you so much. I hope you went to the buffet and got yourself a plate of food and uh, served yourself up the buffet. We had that, we had that shipped in uh, from their local restaurants. There's no food. There's nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. I was watching the chat. I was on the phone for five seconds. I'm off. You don't, I'm not part, of, I'm not getting paid by the blizz, so it doesn't matter if I'm on the phone. Also, my name's 1M, and it's Staff Sergeant Fleming to you. Wow. I mean, okay, Don, first calm down a little bit, all right? I don't know what you, what's going on right now, but relax. It's okay. We see that it's only 1M. It says so on the screen, so you're good. We got it. And that right there is the problem with you military people, the real military people. You all got that little chip on your shoulder. Back off. Back off me, okay? I'm just joking. It's just, just teasing. Calm down. It's just a joke. You don't have to salute me, but I like that. I like the idea that you're saying. Like not really a salute. <laughs> <laughs> so are the animals gone? Because I want to see, I want to go back to the kangaroo. I, I, I have some fascination with kangaroos since I watched that kangaroo video the other day. And I saw how actually big those paws were. Because I often thought that it'd be fun. You know, we see the videos of the kangaroos boxing and everything and how, how fun are we, but... Oh. Look at that. He's pissed now. Man, do something that will make him attack the camera. Uh, this is great. So how's everyone really? Uh, and you can, you know, Chris, you can pick and choose if someone, you know, raises their hand and pick and choose. But I want to know how, uh, is everyone on lockdown or are you essential people and out and about and facing people in the crowd? Because I, I'm really, I, I, I'm, I, I have a feeling that more people than we're realizing are out and about. Because I go out. Rarely, and it's kind of scary now to go out. Um, but there's more people out and about than I thought there would be. And it's really kind of, I was like, don't they know we're supposed to be on lockdown? So are people here 
on lockdown or are you essential people and you're out and about? Yeah, we could go care. to Jason. Jason on the iPhone, he has his hand raised. Okay. Yeah, Jason on the iPhone, that's right. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm here standing in front of my freshly raised American flag. Nice. USA. USA. Uh, and my wife thinks it's ironic that I have my German Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have a French bulldog too, but that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, no, Oregon. So far, I live, I live about twenty-five minutes uh, north of the capital and thirty-five minutes south of, of Portland, and everything seems about the same. You know? Wow. I mean, you can't go inside a restaurant and sit down, but that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lot happy about that restaurant issue. She is unhappy about it. So See, I, come, get back in the kitchen and make something. He says she was, she was making a drink. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> but yeah. Oregon. I mean, I miss going to the stores, uh, but other than yeah. that, I mean, there's Walmart, there's target, there's Costco. Right. And, and, and I, they say that they're keeping the number of people down going into those stores, but I have not seen that yet. Uh, they do. I, uh, there's nobody's really stopping people from going in. So I'm not sure that that's actually happening. They have a counter person out there pretending, but nobody yeah, stopped them. Yeah, in front of Costco, and they're like, oh. okay, one person in, one person out. And uh, oh, the other so day, there you go. about 20 minutes in front of Costco yeah, to get, actually get in. Yeah, no COVID. Like, we have no cases at yeah, all. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody that has – I have. I mean, I don't know anybody that knows anybody that has it. So, I mean, wow. well, you know, interpret what you want from that. But right. Right. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Anyone hey, else? Thanks a lot, guys. I want to go to No, Jeff. thank you. I appreciate it, man, Jeff very much. N. Thank you. Unmute yourself, Jeff. Jeff N., where are you? He's my favorite. I, I know. I was just talking to both of them. Right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jeff Can you N. hear me? Can you hear Jeff, me, Chris? I hear you. Yeah, I was just talking to Chris and, and Jeff here. Right now, yeah, we got it, baby. He forgot it's to It's okay. Mute. You just came out of the kitchen. You made something. We love you. Take care. Relax. <laughs> All right, so where are we going, Chris? Jeff N. Jeff N. He said he's uh, working, but still in lockdown. Yes, so you're working right. from home. Can, can you hear me? Yes, yes it's all good. Can. Go ahead. All right. Yes, um, we're still working. Um, we're making like sign, social distancing stickers to go on the floors, that kind of stuff. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, that's good business. My gosh, that's a smart move. So, yeah, but then along with that. Yeah, today I took some signs into a grocery store for requiring people to wear masks. Right. So, more and I, more places are doing that now. Uh, you see it all yep. over where they're mandating it, agonizing. Yep. yep. So Monday, Monday morning, I think it, in Pennsylvania it's going to be mandatory to wear a mask for everyone. But I walked into the store without a mask, carrying signs that said "mask required." So, <laughs> <laughs> so are they ordering them? direct from you or do you just make them and then show up and say hey want to buy a sign no they order them yeah yeah order them from us but yeah we um actually i think we offer the social distancing decals for free but we're still doing stuff that's not essential i guess you could say i mean you know you don't have to give that stuff away right <laughs> well i know i i'm not in charge of that so <laughs> don't let don't don't let them make make you feel bad over charging someone for for your work it's okay. yeah there's a pandemic you've got to do it for free no i don't that's a good point that go, is a good point i want to go to uh johnny simmons he does delivery as a side hustle and now it's his only work i bet it's his main hustle right it's the only hustle i'll mute yourself uh johnny simmons wherever you are johnny simmons come on down hey Hey guys. Uh, yeah, my side, I'm a musician, so obviously I'm not working. And, um, so my side hustle is working for a delivery service and, um, you know, you that's all I got it. right now. So I'm you doing it all day. It. Is it Amazon? And no, it's favor. I don't know what that is. Favor's only in Texas and, and mostly Houston, Austin, San Antonio. And we and deliver listen, everything. You deliver everything, furniture, clothes, all of it. Well, well like you could send us like, the way it works is we have a corporate card so we can go buy whatever you send us to the store to buy. So we can go to Walmart, we can wow. do whatever, but we do uh, HEB deliveries pretty much constantly now. And, and, and you charge per delivery? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we get paid like a base rate and then we get tips. Do I have to, Oh my God. Now I have to tip the guy that brings me the stuff. That I order. <laughs> do I have to, do yes. I have to own, do I have to be a member of favor to use now, it? It's an app and it's up there in Dallas. Don't talk down to me. I'm just asking a question about if I have to be a member or not. No, okay, you, do not. you do not. <laughs> But it's anything, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Seriously, now it does. If I wanna, if I wanted a, a sofa from Nebraska Furniture, you'd go and get it. I'm well, not that. But if it's a local store, yeah, they they send us to buy pretty much anything. It's mostly groceries and food. You know how it works, right? Um, but like, especially H E B, they've been rock stars through all this, and like, really, uh, like the one of the stores that I go to the most for delivery. Like they were freaked out that Super Bowl Sunday they had 500 curbsides, and now they're doing that every day. Right. So it's crazy. Right. And so uh, you are are not performing anywhere as far as being a musician. Did, today we talked a little bit about uh, stuff going on inside of Fortnite. Man, you ought to contact them. You can start putting on shows inside of Fortnite. Well, my bands have been streaming on Facebook, like tomorrow okay. night. Live on Facebook, the Rickies. Okay, and 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 so are the, is the band are the, is the band coming together and playing, or are you doing that? Remotely? Yeah, well, oh. I, I'm here in my home studio, and we just set up in here and set up a, a camera and stream to Facebook. So do you? Live. Do the other band members they sneak in then, so the authorities yeah. don't see? Yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. It's not bad in Houston. I mean, you can drive anywhere you want. Nobody's going to hassle you. Uh huh. So they, that's why they park around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Because you start having people. I saw. I drove the other a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I went out and remember I saw. I talked about the, the. I saw cars in the driveway where people were getting together. Easter Sunday. That's what it was. Yeah, and yeah. they were people were parking in the driveway. And it was like multiple get-togethers, and I was. They can't do that. What are they doing? Yeah. So you have them park around the corner, man. Yeah. Well, they're bringing me food. That's... <laughs> you could bring yourself food. Yeah. It's, well, you know, a I'm, I'm a shut-in. I'm a shut in and they're bringing me groceries. When do you foresee, have you talked to any of the places that uh, where you were performing in the past? Do they have any clue at all? No. Open? Has anyone talked to them at all? Um, the governor said today that they will make some kind of announcement about bars and restaurants on the 27th. Uh -huh. So, you know, I don't know. They'll, uh, they'll probably open them back up with, and you can have two people at a time come in to sit down. That's it. Yeah. I, on the one hand, I'm worried that like no one will go out and so they'll cancel the gigs anyway. Right. But on the other hand, I'm thinking everybody's got cabin fever and a stimulus check. So maybe they're ready to party. I hope that's true, Johnny. Me thank too. you so much. Bless your heart, man. Good luck. I, uh, I appreciate you. it very much. Thanks for listening to the show, and I appreciate you coming on today. Um, yeah, I hope that's true. Th I think I, I have a feeling, though, even you know, when they shut those places down, uh, it was angering to me that they, you know, they're mandating places being shut down. But no one was going anyway. Those places, people were struggling for customers as it is. And you're yeah. right when they open it back up. I don't know, stimulus check or not. Uh, if you're thinking about, I know we miss the restaurants and my man from Oregon, his wife is all wound up about not being able to go to the restaurants, but I don't know that a massive amount of people just automatically go back to Carabas. Uh, I, just right. don't think, I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they have to open up, right? We've got to allow them. We've got to allow people to run their own damn businesses. We have to. Yeah. My gosh, America's cannot survive that way. Jeffy, Thanks, I want to go to uh, Natalie Shira. She does teaching virtually. Okay. Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Unmute yourself. Hello, Natalie. How you doing? Who are you teaching? What are you teaching? Do you play music while you teach? Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost her. Oh, no. Hi. No, I'm okay. here. I'm so sorry. Right. It was Thank being you. stubborn. I apologize. Hey there. Oof, Thanks for such a fun evening. Yes. No, um, we, we appreciate you knowing how to work I your am, equipment. Anyway. You know what? I'm usually better at this with my students. Uh, you guys, I don't care as much enough about that. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. I do, but I just. Uh, I don't want your um, pity. I don't, I don't need it. I don't want it. It's okay. I, 
So you are teaching for... I like my students some days. Right. Are you, are you teaching... Yes, I'm part of a great... Uh, a... Go ahead, Natalie. You go. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm virtually teaching my high school students. We're having a blast. A lot of Zoom meetings, which I run better than my unmuting uh, skills would have shown. But yeah, we're we're having a great time. Uh, it's been an adjustment, but it's been really fun. And they're able to submit their work. I have them uploading videos for our communications class to YouTube. I have them, you know, we're emailing a lot, uh, a lot, a lot, which I do anyway. And yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. I, if this weren't the reason why, actually I'd want to do this all the time. It's pretty great. I, I, I can use them. Do you think that because of uh, the, the teaching methods that you're using now, do you think that that will happen? Do you think that schools will say, Hey, you know, this is what we're going to do. For yes, I, I do. Um, our system, uh, where I'm fortunate enough to be started kind of down this path a few years ago, uh, we okay. have been one-to-one -one since I started teaching there in, in 2012. And for a long time before then, um, you know, it's, but even in the last couple of years, there's been a real drive toward personalized learning. I've got a lot of disagreements with parts of that, um, particularly political parts. But uh, <laughs> things I do love about it include uh, we have, we're able to individually mentor students, which I adore because I can right. help them and um, it's a good time for me. And, uh, but in all seriousness, it's fun to be able to, you know, get to know them. And yeah, I mean, if we, if we could do this all the time, it stresses out a lot of my colleagues and I kind of keep asking myself, what am I missing? Like, why aren't I freaking out? And then I realize it's because I'm having a Pepsi and you're having a Coca-Cola zero and we're listening to CTF and laughing at the end of the day. And that's why I'm not freaking out. But, right. um, you know, it's been, it's been a lot tougher on, on some of my colleagues than, than perhaps for me, but that's because. How, how much help are you getting? Now you're teaching high school students, so they're pretty much on their own. Right. And I mean, they're familiar because we've heard a lot of whining from parents who are, homeschooling, but really they're just facilitating the school's program. Correct. Uh, so you're dealing with high school students. You're not dealing with their parents at all, right? Yes. Yes. That's got to make it a lot easier. I am dealing with their parents. I've reached out to all the families I mentor, um, and our parents still have a lot of questions and concerns. We actually had several parents, when we first started rolling this out, pretty upset about us not providing the service they'd paid for in their tuition. That song has, has changed a lot because <laughs> they've seen us actually do what we do. Our students, however, are insanely creative. They're coming up with all kinds of new excuses about why it might be that they can't turn in their assignments and That's all of this. Fantastic. I mean, it's, it is hilarious. I mean, I, their efforts to plagiarize and get away with stuff with me on a normal basis make me laugh. But it's funny the new things they're coming up with. But most of our crew have been great and we're really, really lucky. So we've heard a lot of school districts talk about how they're not going to uh, uh, continue. Nobody gets an F, nobody gets a bad grade, and also graduation. Yes. Right? There are things that are going on. What now? If you, yes. you know, if you don't want to say what state you you teach in, that's that's fine. But are you so you, with you teaching online like that? Are we still doing grading and we're still graduating students? Uh, yes, we are. We are graduating students. We don't know what our graduation is going to look like quite yet. Uh, that decision, because our our governor announced um, just very recently that we won't meet in person for the rest of the year, and so. But we've been planning for the rest of the year. In the for the rest of the year. Wow. Hey Jeffy, okay. I just want to give you an update. Uh, Texas just did that a couple hours ago. Texas schools are closed for the rest of the year. Yeah, okay, for the rest of the year, but I'm talking about the school year, not mm -hmm. 2020. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I, when I think of year, my brain goes from August to May. Gotcha. I, I that, should put that, that, that a little yeah, bit that, more clearly. I, <laughs> I, I, I clarified it in my own head. I was a little blurry there for a second. So, no, I understand that the schools are closed for the rest of the school year. Yeah, right. No, so okay. our graduation will probably be virtual. Uh, we are doing – we're giving our students – um, the option to either do a pass fail or accept a grade because the people, yeah. you know, the, the crazy people like me who want the A plus 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 and, you know, cry when they're not having it 
are going to want their grades and they're going to want that in their GPA. The other people who, you know, maybe have internet issues or have life extenuating circumstances, we're allowing a pass fail, but you do, if you want to pass, um, our work is now mandatory and you must turn it in or you will not pass. And we're, that's wow. why we're doing so much outreach to the families. We are, wow. we're really fortunate to be in that position because our neighboring schools aren't quite as able to. And I don't mean that to sound negative toward them. It's a, my point is how lucky we are. Right. Well, good luck and keep it up. And I appreciate you joining today. And, and thanks for listening to the show. I appreciate thanks, it. Thanks guys. How, 20 stars, best podcast ever. I love you for that. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to, I got to point out a couple of things here before we go to a Chris Cruz pick. Uh, Curtis, uh, I, I see you uh, yawning. Uh, Natalie, boring you? Uh, is it a problem? Is it going on? I mean, uh, you know, she's talking about education and the kids. Or you don't care about the kids. Uh, why Why do you hate the children? Just not sleeping, Jeff. That's it. Really? The whole lockdown has got you off kilter? A little bit. A little bit. Oh, my no. uh, my schedule's uh, pretty shattered at this moment. So. Oh, no. Well, you got a home schedule, right? Are you staying home? Is that what you're you working from the house? Uh, well, I... I work for a, um, an oil and gas software company. And, uh, unfortunately we just, uh, furloughed everybody last week. So I'm, uh, Oh no. Holy cow. Yeah. It's that really stinks. The virus and then the oil prices tanking all at once. It just, it is what it is, but you know, I know it is what it is. It, that, it is what it is. That means it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. So holy cow. But, uh, oh. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not shaving and, uh, I'm putting my uh Yeah, me either. Me either, Chris. I'm not I'm not shaving either. I am the man of this house. Oh nice. The mask too. I like the gas mask. That's good stuff. Put, putting that on <laughs> putting that on when I go out. That's fantastic. That's really good. Well, bless your heart and thank you for, for showing up today and uh, listening oh, yeah. to the show. And uh Witness. man, if, if we can do anything, you let us know. And now I want to go back to uh, my man, Johnny Simmons, for just a second, as I see that he put up behind him uh, my main man, William Conrad. Uh, Cannon. Cannon. Yes. Uh, operation. <laughs> I am in love with my man, William Conrad. How come I don't have William Conrad behind me? Damn it. We've got to make that happen. Johnny, that's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight's episode, Country Blues. Um, um, Jeffy, I want to go to... G gear guts he fix he or she fixes it hospital equipments and whoa boy that's in life right now unmute yourself gear uh i'm here can you hear me yes yes we can thank you fantastic thank you very much bill good look for you by the way <laughs> well the alternative was to leave the main camera on and the lighting is such that i'm in a jj abrams movie it's nothing but lens flares Oh, so I mean, why don't you turn the light in the other direction or something? I mean, I'm on a laptop. I got limited options here. Okay, hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. This is. This is I thought this was a judgment-free zone. You thought wrong, my friend. Yeah, that's <laughs> usually the case. You thought wrong. Hey, thanks for thanks for showing up. So, are you um are you on your own uh, at the house, or do you go out and venture into the world? Uh, so I fix hospital equipment, and that means that I must wow. go to the hospital because... Holy cow. Yes, and I have seen a wide variety of reactions to this whole thing. So, uh, and I won't name names, but I've been to facilities that are very locked down and on point. And at the same time, I've seen a few that if they get a case of COVID, they are going to be in bad shape. Really? In the place what, I was at why, today. What makes you think that? So the place I was at today was somewhere in the state of Illinois, and um, they were not social distancing. There were people sitting at a table playing cards. People were walking side by side, and I'd say maybe a quarter at most of the people in the hospital were wearing masks. So this is a hospital. It's not like a special care facility or anything. I mean, it's a hospital. Well, it, it, to give you any indication, I, I can't say specifically where, but it was a You're starting VA to tick me off. You're starting to tick me off with not being able to say the name. Now, go ahead. I'm just letting you know. It's a VA hospital. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why doesn't that surprise me? But go ahead. I knew it. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. 
Uh, yeah, so, but a lot of the hospitals uh, through most of Indiana, which is most of my territory, they're taking it very seriously. Uh, masks for everybody. They're checking your temperature. So they're doing yeah. it right, unlike the VA. And uh, IU actually just celebrated. Um, they've, had, they've gone through their first 24-hour interval of time with no COVID-19 deaths. That's fantastic. I mean, that's good news, right? I mean, we're, we want to hear that. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of hoping that this will be uh, the, the cur- going over the hump and then back down the other side of the curve. Because, yes, I am working, but overall, the workload is down about 70%, and we're getting furloughed. Well, uh, most of the machines that you fix aren't being used, right? I mean, the, that is- the, the, the stuff that they would do uh, for, uh, you know, pers- people coming in for choice surgeries and choice operations are not being used. You are correct. However, the the problem we have is that we also have maintenance that we could be doing, but these facilities are completely shut down, so they won't even let us in the door. Wow. Even if you wear, I mean, do you have to wear your hazmat suit and the whole nine yards when you go in? It varies from location to location. Some places are very laid back and you can just wear a pair of scrubs and a mask. Some places will make you put on a full, what they call a bunny suit. Right. And uh, so it, it really, it depends where the machines are. And, you know, it, it's every house has their own rules. That's incredible. I, I mean, uh, I'm I'm fascinated that uh, the hospitals are not keeping up with the you know the maintenance. I mean, so what you're hoping for is these places to get uh, off of lockdown, which we all are. But that's going to be you know your workload is going to be overwhelming when that happens. Uh, well, uh, you know, it, it uh, as my boss says, at the end of the day, it is what it is. All right, your boss pisses me off. <laughs> I don't, I tell your boss I don't want to hear I don't want to hear that is what it is stuff anymore out of his mouth. Tell him shut up. You can tell him that for me. Right. Tell <laughs> Thanks, him I appreciate so. it. Good luck, right. man. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in and listening to the show. I appreciate it. So uh, I, I, uh, we have another one here. Yeah. Michelle G. Her husband works at the hospital. Michelle G. Um, works at the uh, hospital. I mean, she, the husband works the at hospital. the hospital. Yep. Okay. No, not the hospital. But oh. Well, one of the two hospitals in our county. Okay. All right. Not the hospital. He's not good enough for the no. hospital? No, we don't have a V hospital in the area. We'd have to drive, I think, 40 minutes for a VA hospital. And that's, that's not um, bad. But what yeah. about the hospital? Not the VA hospital. But the hospital? The hospital. The anyway, hospital. so what do you do there? Are you, are, are you a doctor, a nurse? Uh, a... Him? My husband, he's a physical therapist. Okay. So, I mean, he... Is he working at all? Um, his hours have been cut to yeah. about right now because the hospital he works in is very small. It's only about a 10-bed hospital, and most of the patients are elderly to begin with, so they don't have a lot of patients in there right now, and all of the outpatients that would come in on a daily basis are not yeah. being recruited right. anymore. So he has no patients to see. And the one uh, COVID patient that they had at the hospital, um, they transferred um, to Pittsburgh. So pretty much all the patients that wow. tested positive in our county got sent out of county. So we have no one positive in the county. Oh, I'm a fan of your county commissioners. Somebody gets yeah, positive, ship them out. Yeah, they did. Um, well, a lot of it was because they had extenuating circumstances, like they had um, other issues with, um, I think the one had a kidney transplant or something. Right. So there were other things where just our county didn't have the resources to maintain right. for them. Um, but they sent the one back and my husband started to treat him, but then they sent him back again. So we don't, I don't and, know. And, and you and hubby are holding up okay? You haven't, uh, haven't contracted any COVID or anything? You're fine? No, we have, and we've been very That's careful great. about that, but um, we're losing our minds because we have twins. We have toddlers in the house. And Wow. Are they I yours? Have, yes. Okay, I was just checking. The first, that, the first, yeah, the first one was. The second, the second <laughs> one you do. <laughs> okay, I, I was just, just checking. So, I, I mean, you now, they need to go outside, right? I mean, they're toddlers. You let them outside and run around and play a little bit. Uh, it's raining again today. We have, we keep going from, we get to about 60 and then the next day it's 30 and snowing. Yeah, and I know. The weather, weather fluctuations have been really bad yeah. throughout, uh, 
throughout most of the country, even here in Texas, has been crazy. One day it's 90, and today it's 50. It feels like it's freezing again. It's, yeah, it's so incredible. trapped in the house with twins, and you can't escape from them. And Look, I you wanted them. Quit your whining, okay? I did. <laughs> I, went, I went through treatment to have them, so... I'm, I'm so happy. sick of parents bitching about their kids, man. I can't take it. I, I can't wish we could go back it. to daycare. They need that. Exactly them. my point. Exactly. I, I love my kids. Why don't they leave the house? I can't wait to drop them off. That's great. If, Thank you. If I didn't have to work full time, it would be okay. But I'm stuck at home working full time. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. Uh, so anyway, thank you. I appreciate it. Bless your heart. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming today. And uh, I appreciate it very much. And I hope everything works out. Tell hubby, oof, good luck, man. All the people that are really struggling with their work is, is breaking my heart. So, Chris, who's next? But that's about it. That's all I have. Really? Yeah. That's I'm it? Looking at, I'm looking around. I want to see uh, where to go. Where'd it go? Hey, Chris. Oh, no, Don. Don with one M is still with us. Hold on, Don. Give me a second. I'm looking. Yeah, right there. Tanner Sharp. Unmute yourself, buddy. Yes, sir. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful Tanner, person. how you doing? Look at that beautiful. Good. Person. So thanks for showing up today. I appreciate it. You, uh, I, I see, are uh, being bogged down with the child as well. Is that one yours or are you take I, care of she, it? She says it's mine. So uh, I just assume so. It. Yeah, don't don't no. check it because you, you don't really want to know. That's I've lived, exactly I've right. lived that my entire life. Is That's that mine? Right. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, baby. The uh, I appreciate I appreciate you coming on tonight. So how are you holding up with the with the family and the kids? I mean, are you heading out into the world every day or are you uh, locked down? You know, I'm actually pretty fortunate. I work for the court system here in Las Vegas. And we have Busy all been man. quarantined, but at least wow. my family is still being supported. So I get to stay here with my family. And then I go back to court about once a week. So are, are you having some uh, virtual time with the courts as well? And that's ex exactly how we do it. Our, everything so is through, everything is through essentially a zoom meeting. So when I appear in court, the judge is actually in the courtroom, but I'm in my office. The defense attorneys are in the office, and that's how we all show up. So, are you? And I, I don't want you know. You don't have to tell me. You know. So, what do you, what do you do? I mean, are you a judge? Are you a bailiff with a gun? Are you? Uh, what are you? What are you doing? No. Well, so I I know that no one supports the district attorney's office like CFT. Thank so you. I, I'm happy to tell you that. That I worked for the DA's office, and, and I really appreciate your support. I, Thank like you. you know I, anything we can do for the I district do. attorney's office is more, I mean, just let us know. Just Thank let us you. know. So uh, what's your caseload? Holy cow, Las Vegas. Woof. You know, I, I work in the juvenile division right now, and so right now things have calmed down quite a bit, but it's usually pretty busy. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, I, I, really incredible times. So, uh, keep up. I mean, bless your heart. Thank you so much for coming on tonight and uh, and for listening to the show. I appreciate it. And are sure. you, do you have a gambling problem uh, or are you holding up okay? You know, I don't have the gambling problem. My wife does. And oh, so that's a shame. We just try and keep her away from the casinos and, you know, we do the best we can. Have you been in the tunnels? As a I district haven't. attorney, do you work for, have you been in the tunnels with the homeless people? No, I, I am actually trying to get one of my friends who works for the police department down here to take me down there one yes. of these days because I would love to see that. Yes, if that happens, we, I need a report from Tanner yeah. in Las Vegas for CTF. I that will. would be fantastic. Yeah, that, you I have to make that. that happen. You're, you're work for the district attorney's office. Make it happen. Yeah. I, you know, you're right. I can do anything I want. So. Thank you. That's yeah. why we support you, because you can do anything Thank and you usually do. Uh, anyway, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate I it I want to go much. to uh, Brian I Martindale. I see daughter and wife, maybe. Ah, wife, come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're oh, here. Whole family, nice. Yeah. I know. I whole saw family, my kids yeah. wandering around Just here, too. Just missing a 15-year-old playing Xbox. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, you yeah, have to, right? That's a must. That's part of, their, that's part of the study program. So how's, how's everybody holding up? Uh, at the Martindale house. Ah, oh, hanging in there. It's uh, it's in theory lockdown. We're not essential, so we're not going anywhere. The kids are grinding away. Dad's grinding away in the office every day, working remotely. Yeah. Thankfully, employed. 
Good. I mean, that's that's great. I mean, are you, the, your position at your work is going to hold up? You think for for a while? Yeah, for the foreseeable future, we're doing okay. We're a strong company, big company. So excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Really, are you, are, are, were you ever any? Are you any relation to Wink? No relation. I wish, but no, not okay. that I know. Me of. too. Me or, too. Because... Or Margo. You know Margo. Oh yes, yeah, Margo. No, sneaky that was Pete, Hemingway, right? not Martindale. But that's okay. Go ahead. It's... You, you sneaky Pete. Come on, I didn't mention the show. You don't know, did I? <laughs> that's fantastic. I love it. So, uh, it's, but everybody's okay, right? Yeah, everybody's doing great. Staying Excellent. healthy. Just uh, looking forward to being done. Yeah, no kidding. Welcome. I'm sure everyone. I mean, we all are. Uh, yep. we, and I don't know that I appreciate it, Brian. Thank you very much. Sure. Bless your heart. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Thanks for listening. Thanks for Thank coming you for on having, tonight. Thank you for hosting. It. This is wonderful. Love uh, the relief from doing the Bye. Pod. Thank you so much. Yeah, hey, how you doing, baby? You all right? How come yeah. you're not playing Xbox? What's going on? Your brother won't let you play? Well, it's only a one person screen. So. Oh, dude, foot the bill. Get playing? another Hold remote. On. What are you doing? What is, what is he playing? What is he playing? I want to know. What is the brother? Are you guys in? Are you living in a cave? Is that a? Are we cavemen days? We're we're in Idaho here. We don't have uh, fancy, you know. Multiple oh man, TVs. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive Amazon will deliver in Idaho. I'm <laughs> almost positive you could go ahead and get another remote. You're killing me. Wow, it's okay. Well, I'm sorry that you are being uh, treated that poorly in your home, young lady. But I mean, file a complaint or something. Wow. <laughs> Don't encourage her. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bless your heart. Good, good stuff. Uh, the next one is, uh, where did he go? Oh, he was just here. He had a little they girl. Are here. Just, uh, right here. Let's go to Media Mike. Media Mike, why are you holding that cat? Media Mike. Cats. Oh, boy. Now the wife shows up, too. The whole family just <laughs> mom. I was just trying to get your attention. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Media Mike. What's happening? There you are. Uh, hi jeff hi chris good to see you how's it going very good and yourself so you uh, actually did a video for us right in vegas correct i did did you run into a uh, tanner while you were there because i didn't see tanner in your video or maybe that was his <laughs> wife on the street that you interviewed <laughs> you know uh it could have been her i was a little afraid that i didn't um come up to uh ctf standards with the video well you know, everybody <laughs> has their issues. <laughs> so you holding up okay? We are. We're good. We're very good. Excellent. And 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 you uh, are you locked down or are you heading out into the no, world? No, I have I have actually been working the whole time. Out in the world? Oh yeah. Yep. I work for a medical device company. What what do you consider a medical device? I want to know what device is. Uh, well, is it devices or just a it's, medical um, device? It's, it's why it's used in um, like uh, surgery, you know, um, like, I don't know. For, uh, you have no idea what, what you sell, do you? You have I no idea what your company I sells. You, Jeff, I wow. <laughs> are you selling ventilators? Are you selling pace, peacemakers? What are you no, selling? It's, it's wires that are actually used in surgery for like unblocking... Um, clots and stuff like that oh well they use on jeffy's heart i i saved jeff yes oh thank you so much i appreciate <laughs> it yeah uh, do you i uh, thank you i appreciate it no 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 you're stop, welcome stop, jeff. you're sit welcome down, sit down so uh <laughs> are you actually so you're still working i mean surgeries aren't happening holy cow i mean w yeah. what's going on how, how's business they um well we for some reason my management decided <laughs> that um uh, to tell Governor Baker that uh, we are essential. And he believed them? I guess so. That's what they told us. So you're not making masks or anything like that? You're nope. still just making the wires yep. that, uh, you know, yep. go up my groin and unclog my heart? Well, you know, a lot of those, a lot of surgeries like that actually do our emergency surgeries. Right. I mean, Jeff, we, Jeff, we wouldn't have CTF if it wasn't for my wires unblocking you. I, I already thanked you. My gosh, man, back off! No, 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 no. I'm not uh, looking. For, I'm not looking. Thank for, thanks, Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. I felt like you were. I mean, you wanted some kind of pity thing. I mean, I appreciate. It. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Jeff. I want to go to uh, Shannon Justice. I appreciate you listening to the show, and I appreciate Shannon, you coming on tonight. Where are we going? Shannon, Shannon Justice. It. She's at a distillery. Oh, hey, nice. Chris. How are you? 
I actually just had some customers come in just now because alcohol is essential business in Texas. So yes, <laughs> not, in, not in Pennsylvania. It's not, I'll tell you, you that. To get the DTs. So, uh, here we what are. What distillery are you at? Justice label. Um, the COVID cure. Um, so we've got ah. our, we make uh, moonshine whiskey and vodka here. So, and we're, we're still up there at Total Wines if you ever go out again. Where are you guys at? Um, we're in Sinton, with it, which is just north of Corpus Christi. I love Sinton. It's one of my favorite towns in Texas. Been there never, but uh, it's beautiful. Yes, clearly, <laughs> clearly, you have <laughs> never been. To so, is, are you are you doing a lot of business at the store, or are you doing online business? Where's, where's most of your business coming from now? So, I think most of the business is at the liquor stores, but sales have also gone down because the bars are closed. So right. always looking for new people to pick us up and sell us. And um, we have light foot traffic right. through here. Um, but these are some of our best customers, the cables. Hello, the drunk cables. How you doing? I mean, customer cables. Hello. Thank you. How you doing? <laughs> the drunk cables. Or the drunk cables. <laughs> 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 we're getting there i know so so you are actually wait a second so you're a distillery and they come in and buy but they can stay inside the store and, and actually consume no they have to come in and get out okay all right because i looked like they were not getting out. come in and get out it so. didn't look like they were just getting out. I mean, I don't want to break it to you, but they were sitting there. I don't know what the deal was going on. With them. Like so luckily, um, we were self-funded anyway. And so my husband and I have been doing active duty tours on and off with the Army. So he's in Afghanistan. Okay. So our... Um, oh, bless his heart. We're, uh, we're doing well. Yeah, he's locked down in a uh, 12 by 12 foot room, wow. which is... But luckily, he's essential over there, so he's got to go out constantly to to do stuff. But the other guys that aren't, like the infantrymen, and yeah, they're they're stuck uh, in their cage. That even the defab takes the food to the rooms. Wow, are, do, are you are you do you have an opportunity to talk to them, or do you still communicate? It is so much different than um, our deployment ten years ago. I mean, we can talk every day on FaceTime. That's great, right? I mean, so, that's, does it make it harder, though? To see him? No, yeah. I guess, you know, it's almost like he's not even gone, except wow. we do have four kids. Our oldest is five, and um, we're real slow learners. And um, Wow, no kidding. I mean, yeah, I, we are from South Texas, so... <laughs> You got to kind of, we have all our fingers and toes, but. Um, that's been, that's actually been proven that you have all fingers and toes? Well, if you can count to 10, which I got to take my boots off to do that. Um, so I think so. I'm pretty okay. sure I'm doing oh, it right. Great. But, that's, that's great. but uh, actually, I was hearing you guys yesterday talk about people being upset with their kids being home. And I must just have the perfect age group because they're really fun right now to I, be home it's, it's incredible that you people are actually able to like their children uh I, it's amazing to me that it can actually happen in today's world because all i hear is we <laughs> the kids are in school well i attribute it to not I knowing who their real dad it. is so oh. uh, so he's got oh, i mean point. clearly uh the the genes were were good yeah it was totally worth it that's so. fantastic <laughs> shannon thank you so much man i really Thanks appreciate it I, really I, 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 thank you so i appreciate you listening i appreciate you coming out today that's great tell hubby hello you know secretly don't let people know that you're speaking to him and uh yeah <laughs> good that's a good point yeah and keep the kids safe bless their hearts every one of them that's great thank you so Chris, what else you got? Going, what else you got? <laughs> I got because I was thinking before we even you know say goodbye. I was thinking uh, maybe you know some people can ask you questions because I'm getting a lot of messages privately that they would like to ask you questions. Oh boy! 
So I can't promise you- that I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I think that goes without saying, actually. Um, you know, if, if this was the virtual happy hour, I mean, how I much, this, we're already over an hour. I've got the wife sitting here waiting to say hello. She's dying. She wants to say hello to everybody. And tell her to say hello. I, I say hello, to dear wife. Please go ahead. Say hello. Hi, everybody. I'm oh, here. Hi. You can come. Uh, there you go. This, this is my wife, Amber. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Okay. See you later. <laughs> remember this is my office okay take care <laughs> thanks for coming in <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's your beautiful picture behind me we love you bye yes, take own. care <laughs> oh it's so nice for her to stop by <laughs> no uh she's actually if this was a real thing she probably would have been uh, baking and delivering there would have actually been an amber buffet for you to eat so just pretend amongst yourself that there was actually an amber buffet i want right, to so, uh, yeah, I I go to maggie doyle okay maggie doyle is this is question that, and answer time this is question and answer time okay and ask me anything hi maggie <laughs> maggie <laughs> hi maggie Oh, hey, how you doing? There you are. Hey, Maggie, what's going on? How are you? Hi. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for being a part of the program today. Thanks for being a part of the virtual happy hour. We really appreciate it. Stunned me there. Oh, wow. Oh, no. So question and answer. Ask me anything. What you got? What you got, Maggie? What you got for me? um, So one of my questions would be, I like to go back and listen to a lot of podcasts. And I was had any from your podcast that you'd like me to go back and listen to. I would start at one. (laughs) <laughs> and just work your way right through every one of them. I don't know why that's a problem. It wasn't. It's not a difficult choice. Uh, okay. Just plow right through. It's called binging, and you just start right there at the beginning, and you go right on through, and you keep up. So, I, I, I Maggie, I, I'm not saying get checked, but you may want to get checked because uh, okay. start okay. at the beginning. <laughs> Thank I you can, very much. I, I appreciate it. I mean, that wasn't that hard. Next. <laughs> Any other I questions? See, yep, I see uh, Jason on the iPhone raising his hand. Jason on the iPhone raising. Oh, Jason's back with his wife. His wife. That's right, Jason. Um, with the wife who's mad. Yeah, about she's the she's over there. She's on drink number two now, and she's she's feeling herself. Oh, uh, I just had one question for you. Yeah, uh, what's up? What does a gay horse eat? What does a what? A gay horse eat. Oh uh, well, I know the answer, but I'll let your if you're, is the wife going to tell us. <laughs> Babe, he wants to know if you'll tell him what a gay horse eats. Hey! <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Be here all week. Hey, I appreciate it, here, Jason. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. That's good stuff. Next, ask me anything. Brian. Joke Martin. night. Mike, open mic night. Yep, I got a question. <laughs> Jeffy, I don't even know why I'm asking. You're going to lie. But I, I understand you're actually the boss at the blaze and that people, oh. many people work for you, including Chris and maybe even oh, that guy man. you hate so much, that vegetarian. I, well, a nothing could be farther from the truth from that guy. I don't even want to be in the same building. That's why this quarantine thing has worked well for me with that guy. I want to stay apart from him. Uh, and I no, oh, please. I am a, I am no, no. I'm the boss of zero people. I can't, I'm not even the boss of people in this house that I'm broadcasting from. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, 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 no. No. And Chris is a is, is a gate guard, man. He's, he's he's in charge of everyone else. He's allowing people through the through the gate. No, oh, so man, I wish I wish I wish that were the case. It was the case. Uh, nah, never mind. I'm not gonna tell you that story. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come way. on. Nah, that's fine. So I'm, not, I'm the boss of zero people. Mm. Zero people at the Blaze. I wish... Uh, I already said, and here. I already said that. I already gave you the props on that. Wow, get off me. All right, the next one's coming from Drunk Drunkard. What's your question? Oh, hey. Uh, I, just, I know you guys watch a lot of uh, series. I was just wondering if you watched that Babylon Berlin on Netflix. I'm, Babylon I'm from, Berlin? Uh, BC, Canada. Babylon Berlin. No, I have not seen that yet. I've not watched you gotta it. You got to check it out. It, it's amazing. It's about like the kind of the fall of the Weimar Republic. Uh huh. 
Is it is it one season, two seasons? Three seasons. So there's already episodes to watch. Three seasons of about eight to ten episodes? Um, the first season, I think, was eight. Then it might have been ten, and the newest season was twelve. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's great. You already got episodes to watch. It would almost be like going back and listening to Chewing the Fat starting at one. You'd have all these episodes to listen to, and yes. you can just enjoy it from the beginning. So I'll, I'll check it out. Thank you. Jeff. I love what you guys do. Like, Thank you for I, we, I appreciate it very much. Very kind of you. And I appreciate you listening to the show. And thanks for joining the virtual happy hour tonight. It was very, very nice. Hi, anybody yeah, else? Chris. Anybody else? Anybody else? Questions? Questions? Oh, mute yourself or raise your hand. Mandy, Mandy Ross. What's your question, Mandy? I think he has a question. Yeah, we <clears throat> Mandy? I didn't next, raise and, then, hand. and then I see Courtney and I see Jeremy. So I see you raising your hand. I, I didn't mean to raise my hand, but um, I'm oh, going to ask you. Uh, but I'm going to ask you, Jeff, Jeffy, anyways. How is it working with Chris Cruz, the legend? Mm. Are you related to him or something? I mean, is there? No, I'm just a fan. Are you like a family member <laughs> to him, the legend? No, you're the legend. How is it working <laughs> with the legend? <laughs> I, you know what? It's been a joy. And I couldn't ask to work with anyone better. And I'm so happy to have been able to be uh, mentored by the legend that it is sounds so, Chris Cruz. That sounds, that sounds very authentic. <sighs> Thanks, Hold Andy. On. I appreciate Before it. Before the wife leaves, hey, Jeff, Jeff, your wife is behind you, correct? Yes. Unmute yourself, Jeff. Where you at, Jeff? There you go. Hey, hi, wife. Don't leave. Where are you going? Come back. Where's 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 she going? Where's she going? Uh, he's not unmuted now. She just left. She's mad. <laughs> she's coming up, going. What the hell are you doing up here? <laughs> she's a little. Uh, she's a little camera shy. We're up here in Portland, Oregon. How's it going? In the People's are, Republic of Portland. Yeah, no kidding. Are you? <sighs> do you venture out into the world, or are you uh, locked down? Uh, well, I actually work from home and okay. my wife, the company she works for is having them work from home, but we both can, we have that flexibility. That's great. The, the trouble is keeping the boy motivated. So uh, how old is the boy? He turns 14 tomorrow and he, actually, he turns 30. Yeah. Uh, well, so he, he actually made his, uh, he had his scout master's review today and became a life scout. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah it's Who's, awesome. And he's still happy with it, still going for the eagle? Uh, he's, he's, well, he's now got four years to get his eagle done, so he's ahead of the curve. Right. Yeah, way ahead. But, you yeah. got to hop a sing, though, because a lot of times they get, they get lazy, and by the time they get to be about 17 and a half, it's like, oh, I still got to do it. And well, then they're his, rushing behind the curve. His, his scoutmaster has a, has a challenge for his troop that, He'd like to see an assistant scoutmaster made of one of the Eagle Scouts. Yeah. So it's the only position that can be appointed after being uh, Eagle, and it can only be appointed by the uh, scoutmaster. And, and so his scoutmaster today said he'd really like to see him do that. That's great. So we'll, we'll see. It's pretty awesome. That's great. Is he, uh, is he going to school virtually or just hanging out at the house uh, <sighs> uh, playing Xbox? So oh we live on the uh, – we live just outside of Portland in the Beaverton School District, and our uh, friend from a little bit south of Portland can attest to this. But they uh, they closed the schools, and on uh, Thursday and the Friday after that, all the private schools went on to their virtual plan because they have all that stuff set up. Right. And our Beaverton District and the Portland District, the two largest school districts in the state, don't have any kind of remote plan wow. set up. Wow. And so they took that first week, which happened to be the week before spring break, to do absolutely nothing. Um, they took spring break off, of course, because you can't work during spring break. No, that's impossible. You, there, um, there's, no, there's no way that you could make that happen. No, it, it would be difficult. Then they took the week after spring break to meet virtually and discuss what they were going to do and, of course, didn't come up with much of a plan. <laughs> and then, then last week they, they started to roll something out, which meant – Hey, we're still alive, and we just thought we'd give you a couple things to that do. That is incredible. Yeah. And so, why I say a lot of that is because uh, we actually have a public charter school in uh, Oregon, and for kids who want to, they could go to an online 
online setup, right? Okay. So not only did they close school, but the same executive order by our, our Queen Kate or our governor uh, <laughs> closed the virtual school because she didn't want anybody getting exposed to this virus. Now, I, you know, I write software for a living, and I guess I'm not that technical, but I don't know how you're going to catch a virus working in an online school setting. I, don't, well, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm a little pissed that no one's wearing a mask <laughs> uh, and, and our, during our, our happy hour. Uh, I'm really ticked off. I don't know if you've seen. I don't know if you've seen it, but I was ready. I was prepared. If somebody complained with my new CTF mask, my leather CTF mask. <laughs> leather. Uh, yeah. Hello. Why are you laughing at my leather CTF mask? Man? What's going on? You got a zipper on it too. It's got the COVID nineteen logo. It's got the CTF logo. I mean, that's world class right there. And you're not nice. catching anything. I know. No, you're not catching anything. That is amazing. That. Uh, that they feel that way and felt that way. I, it's, they actually closed uh, the, well, they ended up, the reason they closed the online trader school is because my son, along with about 1,800 students, were trying to enroll that same day after school closed in the online school. And the governor didn't want, uh, was playing one up for the unions and didn't want the money to go away from the brick and mortar schools and, it's, right. and go routed to the uh, charter school. But you'd think by now that would have changed, right? I mean, they've realized that maybe that was uh, was a dumb move, and we're going to change our Jeff, view on that. Jeffy, you're you're cute on Fridays. <laughs> the the night, <laughs> how naive you are. It's just, Don't it, talk down to me. Don't do it. It's, Don't do it. it's so cute how you are on Fridays. <laughs> hey Fisher, I want to jump. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for yeah. joining today. It was great. I appreciate it. Be safe. Take care. I want to jump to Courtney. She had her hand raised. Hi, Courtney B. Yes. Hello, Courtney. And by the way, Fisher, I believe this Courtney B is the one that sent us the Lordship and the stuff. I love you. Yes. The rest of you that haven't said anything. First of all, Hi. you have to make us fight for your love and attention. Like oh. Do. oh. Anyway, I have a question. Have you all used that royal lordship to your advantage? If not, why not? Am I having done no, it? No, we're stuck at home. Where can we go? Jeffy, do you want to get on a plane and get a hotel Red room? I know. I, every time I call Instacart, I say, hey, this is Lord the lordship. Could you bring me some free food? They say no. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, exactly. Excuses. I'm excuses, Jeffer. I know that's Jeffy, all it is. It's just excuses. So, how are you doing? How are you holding up? How's the family? Um, we're doing good. This is my child. Hello, child. Aiden. Um, we're doing good. Yeah, he doesn't this look like he's doing that good. Online schooling stuff. And um, we're working on cursive and long division because he wants to learn it. Does he? Yeah. Yes, does he does. He? And so he, yeah. He, I'm serious. Word to God, he wants to learn cursive, so we've been working on it in long right. vision. Right. I swear, I swear on Jesus. No, I, I believe I believe that he's told you that. I don't believe that he actually that he believes it. He he said it. Oh anyway. really, Mom? I want to learn cursive. No. He did. I swear. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. So, um, thank you, uh, Courtney. Uh, I know she's all mad at me now. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Aiden, take care of yourself. Uh, we got write, two more. write me a letter in cursive next week, okay? I want to see Jeffrey, what you're we learning. We got two more questions. Uh, Ambassador Brockman, you have the floor. All right, awesome. Hey, guys. Hello. I think Ambassador. I have a cool question. Um, we'll be when... the judge of that, but go ahead. <laughs> When this all ends, Corona, and when it when it's over, would you guys ever think about uh, getting on a plane and coming over to Africa? Would you ever want to visit Africa? No. Oh, well, I've actually I've actually been there uh, before, oh, okay. my friend. Uh, Where? I've been, uh, I've been in uh, in Egypt and I've been in South Africa. Oh, awesome. Uh, awesome! Now Egypt was just a pit stop. We flew uh, when we one of our Israel trips. Um, we flew from uh, Egypt or. Uh, Israel to Egypt and we had to refill the plane to go from Egypt to South 
Africa because we spent some time okay. in South Africa. And when we stopped in Egypt, we couldn't get off the plane. And they surrounded our plane. The military surrounded our plane. Uh, we were told, don't look out the windows. And if they wow. board, if they, the pilots came and uh, gave us all our passports back and said, if they board the plane and ask you for your ID, give it to them. Uh, but uh, other than that, don't do anything. Now, of course, you're going to look out the window. Hello, um, you yeah. tell me not to look out the window. I'm going to open the window. You know, slightly. I don't want to get shot. So it's just that quick <laughs> little take a look outside. And uh, I mean, the military surrounded our plane. They let us refuel, but it was uh, fill up. They didn't. They didn't board to check our ID, but they surrounded us, let us refuel, and made us take off. I mean, well, there was no messing around. And then we spent some time in South Africa, which was beautiful. I fell yeah, in love South with Africa's it. Yeah, South Africa is beautiful. We, spent, we, li- we stayed in Cape Town for a few days, which was gorgeous. And, uh, and then we, you know, I was amazed at the shanty towns uh, mm-hmm. outside of Cape Town, which is, you see it on, you know, in movies and on TV, but seeing it in real life is, uh, was yeah. pretty overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, so, I mean, I've already been there. Don't talk down to me. I, don't treat me like uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm an African and you're not. You got to come uh, visit your ambassador, man. Come on. You're welcome I, I, here, guys. I think, I, and to be honest, I, I believe that Chris has already volunteered to report from there. No, and so, I, feel, uh, I, feel, I feel that everybody should know this by now. Um, third world countries should not have airports. So I don't travel to any <laughs> third world countries because they don't know how to deal with airports. Now, let me ask you this question. You Is Swaziland third world? It is like, yeah, it is like 70% of the country lives at like the poverty level or below, you know, so we're so third world and then qualify for third world country. They're like six world country. I don't think they can even kind of my point. to third world country, but I do want to say hello to Robert because he was the one that won the elf on the shelf. Robert, where are you? Hello, Robert. How are you? wherever Robert is. Unmute yourself and tell us what you've done with Elf on the Shelf. He's gone. We lost him. Somebody check on Robert. Do a welfare check on Robert immediately. Make sure he's okay. Oh, hold on. He's at work, so I don't think he can. Uh, he said he's at work. Multitasking. He can't talk. Then what so, the hell so am I. Uh, so maybe he just unmutes the mic and talks to us. I don't know. All right. Let's go to Gear. He has a question. All right, so I turned off the, the, the silly avatar thing. Um, so this question Put it actually back goes, on, but go ahead. Thanks. It's good to know I'm beautiful. So uh, yes. I, actually, this question actually goes to you and Chris. Uh, I like to think about hypotheticals, like how good would the commentary have been if Jon Stewart was still on the air for the 2016 elections? But that's not what I want to ask you. I want to ask both of you, what would be Doc's reaction to 2020? You know, uh, first of all, uh, why think about that? Because uh, just, that's just stuff that just brings you down. But it's funny that you say that because Chris and I were actually talking about that just the other day. For some, I remember talking to Chris off the air, obviously off the air, but we were talking about it, uh, it was just a couple days ago, right? Yeah, it was two days ago. We were just talking about it two days ago. That would ago. be a couple days ago, by the way. Yeah, like I so, said, two days ago. We were talking about it two days ago. Uh, so, uh, you know, what would his reaction be? You know, I don't know. Ring a freaking bell and be done with it, I guess. Dude, that's so douchey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The last question of the night goes to uh, Maggie Doyle. Maggie Doyle, again with Maggie Doyle. The last time she was like, I didn't really want to ask a question. Now she's stepping up. Go ahead. Hi. There you go. So you said for ambassadorships, you wanted there to be like explosions and fighting and stuff. Fighting out for ambassadorships on Zoom? When did that happen? Okay, it didn't well, happen anywhere, Jeffy. First of all, that attitude that you have right now needs to back off. All right, okay, It wasn't so- my fault that you didn't okay. know that you had to start at episode one. Okay. Okay. All right. So relax. Okay. okay. Second, it was, I talked about one particular person who was from uh, South Korea. Okay. Who didn't show up, right? Ruthie didn't show up. What the heck? I'm really, okay. I'm really, but I was going to, you know, 
offer an ambassadorship to Ruth. And I see my oldest son. Uh, I know that was supposed to be the last question, but I just saw my oldest son and my wife's grandchild yep. uh, pop your on. Grandchild. Zoom, your grandchild is the in there. No, my, my, oldest, my wife's granddaughter. No, your grandchild. I'm going to make sure everybody sees your grandchild. There it is. Okay. Your grandchild is hey, sweetheart. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> If, if many of you uh, and, and my oldest son Elvis, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to be like me and exercise every day, uh, contact him at Better You Performance because no nobody uh, nobody represents Better You Performance better than me. Uh, that's clear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, hey, so sweetheart. Uh, she we just made ice cream on her dance class Zoom. Nice. Show me the ice cream. Let's see it, baby. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, you show man. It's Wait. my ice cream. Wait. I'm not going to show it. They made the ice man. cream at the dance school? Yeah. What? That's, what, that's what he what said. What is that? What is that? So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your ice cream. Love you. What is the party? Yeah, the party's over. You came I'm muted now? Over. Oh, you You're busy. muted me now? Yeah, you're done. You're over. Have a nice day. Gotta go. Appreciate it. We're <laughs> on. It's over. We already took the last question. Hey, you know what? Done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. So thank you all for uh, showing up to the virtual happy hour for CTF. We will uh, we'll we'll do it again. Although it'll be more organized. Probably. Ruthie not. from South Korea joined. Wait. Ruthie, I see her. Sorry. Where? Her. I see her. I, th I thought I saw Ruthie from South Korea. It's not hey, don't true. Get, don't get pushy, Mandy. All right. Don't, oh, I'm don't sorry. Pushy. I apologize. I oh, ah, oh, it's our, it's our boy over there. He changed his name to Ruthie from oh, South Korea. Oh, Memphis. <laughs> nice. Ellipses. That's nice. a good one. That's a good one. That, that is a good one. I do enjoy That's that. Congratulations. <laughs> You've won absolutely nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. And to everyone else. Thank you. I appreciate it. Be safe. Stay safe.